In a study posted in the Nutrition Journal, it found that men who had higher intakes of caffeine typically had higher levels of testosterone than men who didn't. The men who also drank more caffeine had lower levels of sex hormone binding globulin. The claim seems even more legitimate when you take in other studies that showed that caffeine drinkers had higher levels of libido and better sexual performance. Caffeine even tended to provide a Viagra-like effect in men who were suffering from ED. Oh, get on there. So in this experiment, I tested my testosterone with no caffeine in my system for two weeks. After that, I decided to increase my caffeine intake to 400 milligrams of caffeine a day for eight weeks to see how it affected my testosterone levels. So to help me conduct this experiment, I'll be using an at-home testosterone testing kit from today's video sponsor, Let's Get Checked. Let's Get Checked's at-home testing kits are so easy to use. They send you the kit, you prick your finger, provide a small blood sample, mail it back, and get your results online, all without having to leave your home. So if you're feeling tired all the time, suffering from hair loss or low sex drive, you may want to get your testosterone levels checked. I'll put their link below in the description, along with a discount code that will save you 30% off your next purchase. I've used several tests from Let's Get Checked, and I highly recommend them. So my testosterone levels before this experiment were as follows. My sex hormone binding globulin, also referred to as SHGB, was 64.9 nanomoles per liter. Now SHGB transports testosterone through your bloodstream and is produced in your liver. And if you produce too little or too much, it can be a problem. My free androgen index was 36. And this is the ratio of free testosterone in your system to SHGB. So if you have too much SHGB, it will bind the testosterone and your body won't be able to use it. So even if you have high overall testosterone levels, if your SHGB is too high, it can show us you having low testosterone. And my total testosterone level was 640 nanograms per deciliter. So after finding my testosterone levels without caffeine, I decided to go ahead and start ingesting 400 milligrams of caffeine every day for the next eight weeks. Now, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so my caffeine came mainly in the form of these caffeinated Mios. I also drank black tea. So, after eight weeks of drinking over 400 milligrams of caffeine per day, here are my current testosterone levels. My sex hormone binding globulin was down slightly to 63.2 nanomoles per liter, just like the study had shown. My free androgen index was also up, now at 41. And my overall testosterone was up as well, coming in at 711 nanograms per deciliter. In regard to the increased libido, I'd say that's true as well. I'll give that two thumbs and something else way up. So even though my testosterone levels were up, it did come at a bit of a price. If I didn't drink caffeine soon enough in the morning, I'd get a headache. And if I drank too much at once, I'd also get a headache. And I just seemed to get headaches more often throughout the day. So I hope you found this little experiment enlightening. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you in the next one.